I was doing some things on Facebook, so thanks for joining me. I have two cameras running. This is all new to me. Welcome to everybody. Hey there, who I have over here? Hey Kai. Um, I'm actually looking at my Facebook and my Instagram is turned the other way. Um, welcome to the East Coast. Good afternoon. Uh, us here on the Pacific Standard Time. Good morning in Europe and um, Africa. Good evening. Because definitely, um, hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Yeah. Hey Shay, how you doing? So let's get started. Um, I don't want to keep you too long. The, the purpose of this whole thing is to actually um, launch my website, show you a couple of the uh, products which I have here laid out. Hope you like my little decor. Welcome to my humble abode. Um, so to get started, um, my name is Chef Third Iso. I am the owner of Canna Fusion and we are a holistic community. And when I say holistic community, I mean that we are, oh, hey, everybody's chiming in. I'm gonna check on the Instagram folks, let them know what's going on because I'll be able to see the questions on Facebook, but I'll check periodically with Instagram. So give me one second, check out my layout, check out all the good stuff I have. Any questions, I'll answer them as we go. Oh, hey, Genetic Coat. Hey, Janae. Hey, Tim. Thank you guys for joining me. All right, so let's get started. Once again, Cannafusion is a holistic community. We do education, we do food manufacturing and extraction and dispensing, as well as we do catering and mobile services. And I say a community because I have consumers out there who are also professionals who cook, bake, chefs, everything. And then I also have professionals in other industries from spas to whomever. So. We connect on that level, we share information, and we build this community to make sure that people have a healthy medicinal lifestyle with cannabis. Basically, CBD and THC and all the cannabinoids in between. And don't worry about all the lingo. I will definitely have um, a weed dictionary, for lack of a better word, right now. And I wanted to make sure I kind of stayed PG in this episode so everybody can um, watch, and that would be awesome. So um, let's see here. I want to get started, and as you know, I'm a mixologist, bartender, as well as a cook. Hey there on my Facebook. Hey, Andrea. How you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me. So, um, on my Facebook, I have uh, the layout where you can kind of see this, and on my Instagram, you can kind of see a little more. At some point, I'm going to have to say bye to Instagram and just have questions on Facebook if anybody wants to kind of hang around. So... I'm gonna to have to pay attention to what I'm doing, so I'm sorry I can't answer questions so much as I go, but I'll try along the way. What The first thing you need to know is that we're all in this together, and whatever I can do to make it easier, I will. Um, this is free, and I'll be offering these demos from time to time, so keep watching. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. So in the meantime, um, you know, we're all stuck in the house. I wanna make things easy, so today I'm gonna to make a simple omelet. And what I'll do as I go along to show you how to build it. So I'll make a cheese omelet for those who don't like anything. Make a veggie omelet for those. And then I'll end up with a meat traditional omelet. And I'm French trained, so we make omelets. And um, I'll try to show you a simple way. Hopefully you get it. If not, call me. And there's some, I don't know everything. So if we're going to do some flair, hopefully I'm going to try to flip this omelet. If I mess it up, you'll see and you'll tell me. And I'm sure somebody will correct me. Hey there, how you guys doing? Oh yeah, thanks for joining me. All right, so first before we get started, I don't know about you, but I need a drink. You got the kids going on, you got the president going on, and you got all this craziness going on. We need to just relax and chill. So I did invite you to brunch, so why not fix a good old Bloody Mary? I'm not gonna show you everything because of my, you know, uh, camera abilities uh, are limited. I'm here by myself, but I will show you, you know, what I'm using to make a good old Bloody Mary. And Dina, thank you so much. She gave me a little tip. I kind of, I'm doing it my own way, but the traditional Bloody Mary has um, the tomato juice, um, really it has Tabasco, but I only have this, you know, hard times cause for desperate measures. Then we have uh, the Tito's vodka, which can also be used you know, for instances of the sanitation. I actually have a, a recipe up. Check that out as it's free. Check it if you need it, please do use it. And then I have my one and a half, one ounce uh, jigger. And I am ready to go. Of course, you gotta have the Worcestershire. So let me go ahead and mix this up. You can watch me, you'll definitely see the final 
and I'm gonna make more than one cup, so I don't think I'm that much of a drunk. But I do like to, you know, sip on something from time to time. Anybody got any questions? I'm gonna check right quick on my Instagram folk, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Andrea, would you be messing up omelets? How you mess up omelets? I mess them up too, so I'm not trying to be sarcastic. Anybody have any questions? Hey, Instagram, I was just checking in. Okay, now we have here the one ounce, so I'm making two servings. I already have ice in my shaker, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that Tito's. Boom. Then, because I got other stuff I have to do, I am going to make the rest of that tomato juice. Let me shake this up a little bit. Ah, uh, nothing like that old school V8, right? Who don't like it? Who drink V8? <laughs> I've been drinking, I'm weird. I drink, I've been drinking that since a kid. So don't mind me. So, boom, just pour that in. I'm sorry you guys can't see all of it. I wish you could see more, but let me go ahead. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up. Who already ate breakfast? Who had eaten yet? I will never judge you, Andrea. You're good. So now, we got it nice and cold. I already prepped my glass with a little bit of my secret ingredient that Deanna showed me. And I'll show you what it is in a minute. But here we go. Getting that good old Bloody Mary. Waking us up for the day. Or whatever you got going on today. And don't worry because we needed an extra space to put our, you know, goodies in there. So that we can have that. And then you also... This is what I do now. Once I put all of this in, then I put, because I like the stuff to linger. Then I put my little Worcestershire. I don't put it in the shape. Put it on the top because I want it to go soak down through everything. And that's just me. A little bit of the Tabasco, Chalupa, or whatever you have at home. Shake that in there too. And then for the final, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was talking about. So the traditional, um, the traditional just has the salt and the pepper. But I put Obey, thanks to Dina, and I'm taking about a teaspoon, and I'm just shaking it all in. All in, all over. Mm. Cheers, anyone has it. If you don't have it, go ahead and get your drink. Let's drink some, all right? Now, let me taste it, and then I'm gonna get to work. You can't, you know, technically be drinking and trying to work at the same time. Oh, Lord. I was just tasting that for the people not here, you know, making sure it was good. Yes, this is safe to drink, so we're going to put this over here. You know how to make it. I didn't want to, you know, be an alcoholic, so I left some of it out. And, of course, I have some more if I want to make some more. And I'll sit that over here. So, now, what I'm getting ready to do, if anybody's watching, it's now time to get in on the steps to an omelet. I'm going to show some product, and then I'm going to start cooking. But before I show the product, because it won't take me so long, I'm going to turn the stove on medium heat. Underneath the omelet, here's the pan. And it's just the regular, small, you know, um, skillet. And I like to have something, you know, stainless steel. But another thing, too, with stainless steel, you clean it with steel wool. And that's how you keep everything off of it. Just in case, you know, some people struggle with how do I do that. And trust me, along the way, I'll show you a, a bunch of tips. How about that? So now we have the stove on. Let's see who else is joining us in here. All right, all right, hold on. Let me check on Instagram. Hey there, how y'all doing? Y'all good, any questions? Oh, what's on the menu? The menu is an omelet. We're making a simple breakfast omelet this morning. So, before we get started with the omelet, let's go over the products. We got here my um, can of soap I've been telling you guys about. So this is it in the package, and this is the smaller version. This is what I consider the hand soap. See that there? And then this is 1.5 ounces and this is 3.5 ounces. This has the antiviral and um, aloe vera and other natural substances that are gonna help your body heal while keeping it healthy. So put those back. Then we have the butter, the can of butter, which is like the body lotion cream that you put all over. And if you see in there, it's shea butter with some rose oil and some other essential oils to make sure you have something for your skin. This is like the fountain of you. I'm 44, I don't know how many of you know that, but I use all my products. And if you can see, like I use this every day. So if, if you want a good product that's gonna heal the skin without any type of chemicals in it, this is it, the can of butter, remember that. And all the products I'm showing you today are already online ready to purchase. 
and I'm still of course uploading product I got like every day I'll be uploading product but today you can start going online and getting stuff and at the end of this I'm going to give you a promo code since you watched the live that you can use up to 24 hours to make a purchase and get five dollars off everything additionally in the store is on sale like every single thing because we're all going through hard times it's not just me it's not just you and we need to stick together right all right so let's make it happen now this other product i have is what people really call me about is the cannabis this is for anybody with psoriasis eczema chronic pain back pain whatever kind of topical pain you have and skin healing this will do the trick this right here that i have in my hand is uh, CBD uh, milligrams in here is 1500 and this is a four ounce container so the milligrams will always vary based on the strand and it's always going to be on the label and since I haven't shipped this out yet I haven't put the nutritional labels on it and today what I'm going to be cooking with is the CBD butter so this is like my number one top seller all the chefs and the bakers and stuff love this uh, product but this is it here you can see it's been clarified filter so there's nothing but goodness in here so I, i'm going to show you um how to you know make sure you can use it and it's so versatile because anything you have with butter that you cook normally you can use the cbd butter and make sure you stay healthy and stay medicated as well i have here a sample of my crispy treats you know you guys love those crispy treats so i always keep one and these are also high demand for my desserts um as well so for now, those are all the previews of my products that are online available now. And again, we'll have meal prep on there. Those of you who want consulting, need a nutritionist, well, we can have sessions and I can you know, plan your meals for you and you can actually do them at home or I can make the meals, ship them to you frozen or fresh. It just depends. So trust me, as we grow our community, we definitely have. I have a brand ambassador program as well for those who are interested in being a part of the cannabis industry, who want to get in the industry but don't know how who want to you know, learn about the product. It's also educational portions so that you can go and then do your own thing, run a business, cheat someone else. Let's get started with this eggs. I think my heat has gotten warm enough. If you're on Instagram, you can definitely see more than those that are not. But the average and the um, typical uh, egg or omelet is only two eggs. You can do less or more, it's up to you. So what I want to do first, while I'm letting the, since the um, oil has gotten hot, I'm going to take, now this is the one, and I'll show you how much I use my product, because this is the one I use every day. This is the one I use every day. So I'm going to take this with a one tablespoon, and I'm going to put a tablespoon into my pan, so that that can start oil in the bottom of the pan. And you see immediately, and I'll just show it to you in the pan, you see immediately, it starts to dissipate and one thing about all the things that I make is that you don't have that um, harshness of the taste of cannabis within your food and a lot of times if you're truly tasting food you lose you know the goodness of the food in that taste and I don't know if you can see or not as far as the proof of it being clarified you don't see it smoking so that lets you know that all the butter fat was taken out all right so what I need to do now is go ahead and crack these eggs so that I can, and a, way, a good way to get some fluffy omelets or fluffy eggs is to make sure you whisk them well. So I'm going to go ahead and whisk them. Another way to get um, some good eggs fluffy is to separate them, especially when you're baking, depending on what you're baking. All right, so let's go ahead. You see that oil? So it's ready, right? And I have to talk a little too long. I'm going to turn that down a little bit and even take it off the stove. Because what I don't want is it for, for it to be too hot. And that's what you never want. So, again, I'm talking, not doing my normal thing. So, I have to make sure I manage. But make sure that you manage to know when the oil is getting too hot, even when it's popping, that you need to turn it down and let it sit for a little bit. How about that? So, now, it's sit for a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to, let's see, I don't want all of that oil. All right, I'm going to put this back on the stove and go ahead and pour that in there. Uh, so what you want to do, once you pour the omelet in the pan, is give it about two to three minutes and let it start, you know, 
cooking on that side. And then you also want to start pushing it, if you can see that, so that it can get cooked and you don't have to turn it over. So now I want to push it one more time so that it, it can collect. Now, I wish I had an overhead camera, which I will get. So learning curve, because I'm normally at my um, 40 commissary here in Vegas. They have 20 locations and you can go and cook in there 24 hours a day. So I'm normally there doing my thing and having to be at home. You know what I'm saying? It's a little more restrictive, but I'm doing it for the people. So why not, right? We all want to know how to make some great omelets. So you see now that omelet's almost ready. Okay. We want to keep it just a little tad longer and just a little more so we can get some of that runniness out. Because when we turn it or flip it, however you do it, and trust me, I'm always nervous when I'm flipping because I'm still in the morning stages of flip. I've never wanted to flip, but you know, it's the flip. So we're gonna try. If I mess up, so what? Hey, we're in here <laughs> in this together, right? All right, so now, as you see, it's, it's ready because we're gonna cook the other side just a tad. So let's see if I can flip this, Lord help me. Whoop, whoop. Ha ha, look at that, all right. So now, that is cooking and then on the other side. And two, if you, you know, don't flip it all the way, you can also pull it over. But now you want to add whatever vegetables. Another thing, like if you make ham or whatever, you can choose to cook it prior to, or you can just leave it fresh. I don't like my ham cooked prior to. So I'm gonna put the ham in, put my tomatoes in. And now this would be just a regular omelet. I'm sorry I didn't do it in the order. I got excited about putting the, the vegetables in. but. Once the toppings makes the difference. So if you just want a cheese omelet, just put the cheese in. I've got some green onions, and then I have my cheese, tomatoes, and ham. So once you do all of that good stuff, you put it in there, you want to take that omelet, and you see the toppings are in there, and you want to just turn it. You want to just turn it. Then you want to press it down, and now you really have an omelet, see? So now what we do, what I do is called plating. And I didn't use all my stuff, and you don't have to, it's up to you. But now I'm going to plate, I don't know. I like using the, the pan, I don't know about you. You feel comfortable, use the pan. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a CBD omelet bow. But please wait one second, you know. We gotta put that chef flare on it. We got a couple of, um, Oh yeah, definitely got to put the cheese on. We're going to let that sit. We're going to let that marinate for a second and we'll come back to that omelet because it's done. We like cleaning our messes. So we have this sink over here and I hope you like cleaning your mess too. Turn off this heat. So anybody have any questions, any concerns, any issues, anything you want to know about the can of butter? Let me check on Instagram, people. Oh, wow. Hey, son of a bitch. <laughs> What's up? That's my barber on Instagram. Hey, Lynn. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? I'm sorry. I can't see everybody that's chiming in, but I do appreciate Wow. I appreciate you guys joining me. If you have any questions, just go ahead. DM me. Inbox me, and I will make sure I answer them. And since we're about to wrap this up, guess what? I'm going to go ahead and give you the promo code. So if you want to um, get something online today, tomorrow, please feel free to do that. And it's live. L-I-V-E, lowercase caps, is live. Also, I want you to know that if you need any special orders, we also do RSO. So RSO is when you um, combine CBD and THC. So when you combine THC, CBD and THC at the higher levels of potency, which normally I get my CBD between 15% uh, and up, really 16% and up, and then to save potency, I would say 25% or up for THC. Combine those two to help heal at a more, at a maximum, you know, capacity as far as the body. So RSO is something I do sell. It's definitely something that has to be recommended. Um, you have to have your paperwork. If you don't know how to get it, you don't understand how to get it, let me know. Only in Vegas do I ship THC statewide. I don't ship outside of state THC. So please know that. CBD, yes. Hemp, yes. I do pre-rolls and all of that good stuff. So 
If you want a consultation, I'll have that link on, on the site as well where you can go in and you can um, get a consultation. If you want to ask any questions, we're on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and then um, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Pinterest, welcome Pinterest, and then, um, what is it, Reddit. So please, link up with us, help us build our community, you know what I'm saying? Today we had brunch together. It was great. I appreciate and respect your time. And we're going to keep going together. And there's that. And I didn't really dress it up because I'm here to tear this up. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to sit around and play with y'all. So it's been real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I say. You got to stay medicated. Thanks for joining me because this wasn't easy for me as an introvert and a, a PTSD vet. You know, it's hard to get out here, but I got to do it because I got to get the love and show the love to the people. And I got to get the people the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So please continue to support. All this work is not easy and it takes time and it takes effort and it takes drive. So please connect. If you have that drive, let's build together. Until next time, you guys, it's been real. Mm. Oh yeah.